the last piece of the affiliate puzzle. We're going to put it all together. This is presented by the Internet Business Owner Insider blog. So let's take a look. To use the techniques that I'm going to talk about, you're going to need to uh, have a few items. First thing you're going to need is a website or a blog, a domain name, a hosting, an autoresponder, a PayPal account, a ClickBank account or other affiliate account, a link with your affiliate ID, and an HTML editor. Uh, if you don't know HTML, then you can have uh, uh, someone do that for you that does know HTML. It's uh, very simple, but uh, if you just give them this video and they can watch this, they'll understand what we're talking about here. So the first thing we have is the first type of affiliate promotions that we've used for uh, years and years have been banner ads and text links, um, e-zines. Uh, you'll do like a, a solo ad to an e-zine or to a newsletter. Uh, you can have email links. You can put your affiliate link in your email, uh, usually using a signature file. Or uh, you can write articles and, and put your uh, link in an article. That's a really good idea. That's going to drive traffic to your website. Uh, all these different kind of things that you want to do. But that one last piece of the puzzle that remains is having a landing page uh, at your website. Now, what I'd like to talk about here when I said you need hosting, I, I really kind of mean that you need to have a reseller's account. They're usually um, not much more expensive and sometimes less expensive than just getting a one um, single website domain name. Uh, so what happens with these uh, hosting uh, reseller accounts is that you would have a, a main domain name and you can have several subdomains uh, that you can assign domain names to. So that's a really important thing, especially if you're going to have uh, different products um, that you're your own products that you're going to uh, promote. Um, I use uh, Host Monster, Host Gator is another one. Uh, a good one, and so there are several other good hosting accounts that you can go to, or hosting providers that you can go to for these reseller accounts. So uh, again, uh, remember we're, what we're going to be talking about is building an affiliate landing page, and there's really three types of landing pages. There's a landing page with an opt-in form, also known as a squeeze page. That's the one that we're going to talk about today. Uh, the landing page, uh, which provides a product review, is a second type. And a third type is a landing page which does a uh, soft sell. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to take a look at the squeeze page here. And uh, what that squeeze page is, is uh, what you're going to do is you're going to have a uh, kind of a mini site. Uh, what I like to do is call it a teaser site. So you probably already got a product that you're promoting. Uh, you're, you've got your affiliate link already. You, you know how to do that, but you're, uh, it's just not returning a good in, uh, return on your investment. You're not making as much money as you'd like to. Uh, and, and a lot of reasons for that, uh, you know, when they talk about uh, um, cloaking your affiliate link, uh, using uh, a small or a tiny URL or uh, some other form. What I like to do is, since I have a website, what I want to do is I can create a folder in that website and I can create a cloaked uh, ID, a uh, cloaked link that point to that website and I'll just have a, a, a default or index HTML and what it does is it does a meta refresh and just sends uh, your visitor on to the sales page for the product uh, with your affiliate link intact. Uh, that's, that's one way. What we're going to talk about is a little bit more advanced today uh, and a way to do that. So what the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the product sales page and you're going to swipe that sales page. With IE, all you have to do is uh, click on the file and save as, and it will save all the images on the page. It'll save everything on it and save all these 
files for you and create a uh, file for you. And I'm going to show you how that works. Um, then what you'll do is you're going to remove everything you don't need on that page. However, you probably keep you know, a headline, some benefit statements, and some images uh, so that there's some continuity between what the visitor sees at your site and what they'll see at the uh, sales page. Now, you don't need everything. Uh, so, but what you will do is remove everything you don't need, keep what you do need, add your lead capture form, and then with your lead capture form, you're going to send them to your autoresponder, and the autoresponder will add them to your, since you're capturing their name and email, will add them to your list, and then return back and to a page that you tell it to, and it's going to be your redirect page, which is your cloaked link in a redirect page, and that's going to send them to the sales page. And then all you have to do is just sit back and check your stats. So when people are coming through, what you'll do at that point, rather than giving them an affiliate link, you now have a website link that you can give them with something like uh, you know, www.mysite.com slash recommends slash whatever uh, the product name is. And you'll have a recommends folder, and inside the recommends folder, you'll have uh, a landing page for them. So that's, that's what we're going to talk about today. So uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, our uh, page. So here's, uh, here's something that I have. It's called Black Mask AdSense. And this is a page that uh, I went and swiped. Uh, and using techniques that we uh, learned in uh, from Harris Fellman's uh, product, at, uh, you can find at GetSightStealer.com. That's GetSightStealer.com, and you can learn how I'm doing this, uh, stealing the site. And I've pretty much told you about that, but what we're going to do is it's not just stealing the site. It's changing the site. You take this, and as you can see there, this is a long copy sales page, sales letter. And since I don't have resale rights to this, I'm an affiliate. What I want to do is I want to remove everything that I don't need. Um, this is pretty good right here, get instant access. So we may keep this little thing here, but we'll put our form in here and then a button. Uh, so we may change that up to do that. Um, so we have different things in here. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to, there's our box, so we can have this box right here. Uh, this is another little box that's set up that has uh, no fluff, pure profit. It has some a little bit of benefit statement in it. And then proof. And what we can do is we can remove what we don't need and then keep what we do want. And that way we can send them on to our landing page. So that's what we're going to do with this. And what I'm going to do right now is I'll do that and show you what happens. All right, then. Uh, we, I've made some changes.